this is my favorite shallowing drill. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy. So, why is it my favorite? Not because I have an issue, but my students. This is the one that universally um, is loved, okay? So I want to get near a wall or something. If I'm, if I'm, you know, tell somebody at their house, you know, put a sock over it, something to obviously not take the paint off or wherever you're at. So you don't hurt your club and don't hurt the wall. So here's my, let's say my normal backswing, right? I'm gonna go like this, get it against the wall. And I'm just gonna work and coming down like this. Now probably to here. The big, now I got the mirror behind me, I'm looking. I wanna get through my, see my trail forearm right now, right there. Same time, get that wrist probably flatter, so we're getting that face in a better position there instead of wide open like that. So we're just dropping it down. So um, it's a feeling for those of you that have never or haven't shallowed before and never felt, but I want you to continue moving your lower body. Okay, at the same time. So I'm moving a little bit. This is the move you know, that we've practiced for making sure we don't really extend work. You're gonna really feel you're doing the same thing here, okay? So, kind of all ties in together. You're just finding a wall, something close. I, you know, I, I typically say, um, as, as far as how, how far away, I mean, it doesn't need to be that far, right? It just needs to be something I'd say, typically I shoot for two to three inches. It's that feeling that you've never felt before if you have a shout of, instead of steepening, coming like this, start your downswing while this thing just kind of a weight drops it. You're allowing gravity to work while you're just starting to pull harder and harder. Think about this, okay? So, um, I was gonna make this the uh, short one, but I guess it's gonna be the longer one. Um, if we're talking a bit about speed and, and what to do, and um, I know something came up where it was mentioned about possibly a too fast for, yeah, too fast from the top. Um, causing issues so um, I would like I, I can't say 100% for sure that the answer to this is this but um, I mean I know I know it's the answer most of the time I just don't know if it's 98% or what but when people go like this and steepen there's there's different um, you know steepening moves versus shallowing moves okay so we have shallowing moves we have steepening moves that are the way our body moves and our arms move that will help us do it. We have too many shallowing moves, um, we're too shallow. So we have to find the mix of them, okay? So it's the mix of what we're doing um, that's gonna allow for it. Um, so, um, you know, one of them, so is, we gotta get like, if we're thinking about, we gotta be, Bent. See, I'm bent over this way. This is a you know shallow move because look where I'm at. Versus somebody who doesn't shallow, look how they're like this. They're left over like this, okay? So it's almost like that um, from here, that little like crunch in here. Because at that time, while I'm doing that, if I just let this club just like chill out a little bit and I'm doing that, look how this thing's dropping behind me. I mean, that's a huge way. But we wanted to get behind us because we're gonna do this. We're gonna rotate like crazy and go. So those of you that work with me, um, either online or um, in Scottsdale at my academy, EGS Golf Academy, um, probably know about the eight o'clock drill. And basically what we're doing is we are bringing this thing down to that eight o'clock drill position. And then from there, um, we'll just go through. Um, so I, I want to hit on this topic real quick. I, I think I'll do a separate video on what are the shallowers, what are the steepers. Um, it's, uh, I just feel like it needs to be broken up or it's going to be a really long video here, which is going to get kind of long already. And then I feel like it'll kind of get lost in the shuffle when to me, um, at least as a golf coach, it's a pretty important, uh, um, set. I would say to look at it, you know, you, I basically look at it. There's um, their body, a few different things that it does. When I look at it, I'm watching, I'm watching, if I'm watching somebody, I'm going, and I see this club go from here. You know, there's certain things I'm looking at to what causes it. You know, my first thought isn't, oh, okay, so you get steep because you decided to just go like this. You know, that's your thought process. You know, it's, it's not. Now, is there a hit impulse in it? Yeah, there's hit impulse in it. 
So what I told you about the, not maybe not 100%, but I don't know for sure if it's 100%, but it's very close. If I am gonna come here and start my downswing by the hit impulse for that ball, I'm gonna tense my right hand up harder. I'm gonna pull down. This is what happens the most. And what do I do from here? Stand up. And it's like, thank you body for doing that. I know it's not what we want because we're not like this, but thank God our body does it to allow us to hit it. So we get here, and this is this is for the good player. The bad player, you know, dumps it and does whatever they do. But the better player, I should say, will do that. Um, so when we look at hand speed um, on golfers, like where are they the the fastest at? Okay. Um, and ask you folks this: Where would the fastest point of hand speed be on the downswing? Well, we can do backswing too, whatever you think it is. Um, where would it be? Would it be right about here? Because I kind of want to hear this almost sound out here. I, I guess I'm thinking of the sound here or here. Um, or where would that be? So, you know, this is a this is another one. So, it's pretty early. It's very early. So, guys that um, are able to hit the ball really hard and and basically just use their body correctly, I, I would say. Um, are able to do this. They're able to be at max speed by about here. Okay. And the other thing you'll notice when they're at max speed here, this club is usually still above their head. You'll get most golfers, they're like this. This is, you're going to see, well, shoot, no, they're more like that. <laughs> um, so max speed is that early. Okay, so as I've kind of explained before that when we're swinging, um, mind you, everything I'm telling you here, this is, you know, when I put these videos together, this is explanations, okay? Like putting it all together. Um, and I guess for those of you who don't know, that's why I'm saying that. Uh, my students know what to take of it. Um, because really, what are we really just talking about here, right? This is the main reason for the meeting right now is to talk about this move, right? And people will be like, how can you be here? You're gonna be way inside. Sure I would if I went like this. What happens if I go like this? Would you, would you like that impact, folks? Chest, head down, pointed up here. Leg straighten, I'm out. Pretty good impact, right? Where was my club? It was back here, allowing me to just go Mm, rotate, rotate like crazy. Rotate, rotate, rotate. <clears throat> Get open. Instead, most people that <clears throat> have struggles with that, you know, they show up. They look. What's impact look like? They look the same as they do at a dress. Okay. Um. So there's a reason that we do it that way. Um. So when we're swinging, we want to gain maximum speed by about here on the way back. Okay. So if we're here gaining maximum speed then it kind of dies and then we're going okay so you got to figure out how to go maximum speed get this on here and then you're ripping okay but we're ripping from a different spot okay so we came here went up we gave max speed the thing's kind of going it's it's in it's kind of free falling is what i feel like it is and then i'm going down what's going like this it's, it's a lot of it is this and this is what you don't see in a lot of golfers is the separation of the body okay like what we do in throwing you know, you play baseball, what do you do? Boom. Nobody would do this in baseball, right? Like anybody, I don't care if you're 85 years old, you would never step up to hit a ball that was right here and go, but it's what we see in golf. Nobody thinks of going up to it and going, you good right there, right? Instead, we see in golf, um, this motion, this, so we're in the same place because they're trying to lift it up in the air and it's just this little hit motion, but when you have something coming at you, like a baseball, you'll get... Look at that. Same thing with throwing. We'll have the separation of the lower going to... Look how... So this is a really good example, I feel like, when you, I'm doing this when I throw. So, if I'm throwing, right? Watch how the lower is going towards the target. And I also have this point of where this thing kind of, like, just falls into this spot. And then, then you fire. So it's th that at that point is the same point of this is doing this. Our whole swing, if if you swing a pretty decent clip, is a minute or a minute. Jeez, a minute. That's a pretty decent clip. 
or a second, right? Uh, 1.2, you know, if you're a little bit slower, but so it's fast. And if you're at a second, it means you spend 0.8 of it to get up to here, okay? That doesn't leave much on the downswing, does it, okay? So we are, we are firing very hard, but here's the thing. If you go up, you're like, oh, wow, I got to get the speed quick. That's what Eric said. You're going to go, and you're throwing energy away, okay? We have to transfer energy out to here at some point, right? That's why our hands speed is maximum here. We're rotating. Something has to eventually go like this, right? <laughs> or I guess we could go like this and just boom, 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 which is, you know, you aren't going to get long that way, right? It's a good way to feel rotation and that rotation will be your swing anyway. So, so we have shallowers, shallowers, we have steepeners. Most of you are going to find this. And um, if you look for your, what your steepeners are, if you just look for one of them, focus first off on what you think you're, what's, what's happening here, right? The, most likely your right hand is pulling it up like this. So, you know, if that's the case, what is, what is it taking me to do this? I'm not going like this all the way, okay? So I have no like wrist and left, okay? So um, I've heard it explained like this, and I don't know why, but like it's a hard feeling for me to feel like, um, like almost like a door handle, okay? So if you're on the door handle, like it's right in here, you go like this with it think that would make a lot of sense right but for me I mean I guess yeah if that makes sense for you that helps you great um, this motion here um, so we have this I, and I want you to notice one thing when we're really doing this and I'd say um, you know Martin Chuck has talked about this and I, I just think it's, it's really neat that he that he's talked about this that um, that when we get to here, there used to be talk, you know, when I was younger that I get to the top and everything's resting here on my thumb, right? That's why that thing's there exactly. Well, not so fast, okay? Um, if we're doing this correct, you're gonna feel this right in here, in this little nook, okay? On your trail hand. So you're gonna be up here and you're gonna go You're gonna feel it here. You're not gonna feel it like waiting under there. You're gonna feel the thing sitting right on here, okay? And leave that on there, okay? You know, don't let your hand do this. Leave it on it and swing through, okay? That's why you can, um, one of the best things you, uh, you can do to kind of feel it is, almost if you just take your fingers and put them on the pillow like this, I mean, you, you can just swing. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that the shot's gonna be any good, but, if anybody looked at that, they would see shaffling like, look at that shaffling I had. And I, cause I didn't do, I didn't do a single thing. I just put my fingers barely on it. But do you see what it did? Where's it going? Back here. Why? Cause I only have the two fingers on here, right? I can't really pull it. Gravity, the head, the weight, boom. It's not meant to go out here. <laughs> We're not supposed to throw it out here. Right? supposed to get here and when it gets there it's resting right there okay so um shallow don't ruin your walls don't don't get anybody mad at me um i in the past um i told people to use socks and rubber band around it whatever you guys will be creative and girls so thanks for watching eric silver ejs golf academy and you have the ultimate shallow drill thank you